Terminator, well, maybe a better example is Ex Machina. So a movie called Ex Machina, which I highly recommend if you're a science fiction fan, is, is uh, this, this guy who uh, works for this, you know, corporation, tech corporation, uh, wins a prize and he goes to visit the, the developer, the owner of the company. And the owner, really, this guy winning the prize is actually to do a further test. This guy's developed an artificial intelligence, a full robot with consciousness or, or a, mm -hmm. the appearance of consciousness. And so this, this recruit from his, his, his uh, company gives, is supposed to sub, uh, uh, give the Turing test to the AI. Uh, do you have a definition of the Turing test? I, I don't know that I have a formal definition, but basically, as I understand it, it's this test where um, you interact with this AI, and, or you know, interact with something, and, and there's some inherent barrier, and, and I think that's largely because... Um, it could be there, texting there, back and forth or emailing. Well, or, or, if we're or, sitting here talking, what you say may communicate to me that you're an AI, or it could be that your mannerisms, so, so you could just look artificial, and so I would know, that, there's so many things about being human that I can recognize you're not human, right. so that would dispute so it. So, so you kind of put some barrier to get at the essential of the test, which is, is this thing responding in a way that appears conscious enough that you can no longer tell whether it's a machine or a human? Yeah, and so, that uh, that movie, essentially, and this maybe I shouldn't, maybe I'll use the Terminator example because there's a similar result in this in Ex Machina. But in Terminator, the whole notion is that Skynet, I mm -hmm. think, became self-aware, right, and determined that the human race was the worst thing for the planet, and so we got to wipe them out or whatever. That, that well, isn't that basically what the Matrix is too? It's the yes. So, I mean, so the, like I said, it's, it's a amazing science how many. Trope. I mean, yeah. I just think back. You know, you've got the the dumb examples of artificial intelligence like Short Circuit and Johnny Five or Bicentennial Man, which are robots right. that become conscious. But that idea is, I mean, C three PO, Vision, those are all AIs. Heck, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. No, that's a fair point. Right. Little bit. It's not uh, silicon, but right. it is. A, it's not science yeah, fiction, fair, fair but enough, so. it's <laughs> something that's artificial, be, uh, acquiring a soul or whatever. Right. But uh, there's a tangent I want to go on. But before we go in that direction, isn't it? Stephen Hawking said something about AI would be the the doom or the end of humanity or it's the well, greatest th fear or the danger or something? I know he's talked about ver various people, so I, I don't know. I, I'm, I want to be careful about right. attributing Who's. certain t who said what. But as I've read the literature and, and talked, you know, you look at what people think about with AI. And again, the way it's presumed is our computing power is getting more and more powerful. We're approaching the number of connections in, or so in our computer technology, we're approaching the level of how many connections there are in the human, in brain, the human brain. And it's growing exponentially. So we're close and we think it's just gonna be slowly more, but at some point it exponentially grows. And it's not just, can we create something that's human-like? It's more, once we create something like that, it's going to be a super intelligence. And so if that's the case, we've now created something with the capacity to either save or destroy us. And like the next step in evolution. I mean, that's some people phrase it that way. It's yeah. And, and, you know, at least when you look through the history of where you have extinction level events, the things before don't survive well. That's why it's called an extinction. And so this ASI would be ex an extinction level event for humanity in most scenarios. Now, some scenarios say, well, the ASI figures out how to save humanity and somehow we're able to figure out. There's a whole lot of speculation packaged yeah. behind that, but it could be very detrimental. <laughs>